Gang up at the swearing-in ceremony spoke on claims made on the newly appointed Minister of Fisheries, noting that it's a difficult portfolio, however declaring one's assets and interests is key to transparency. People have already spoken, made comments about you, that's freedom of expression, democracy. As a Minister of Fisheries, it's a very difficult area you are going into and already there were statements so I'm glad to hear and I would like to tell you to do that to divest from the interests as you said people have a right as Namibians to own property or fishing quotas I don't know what the problem is that once you have that legally you are corrupt so you have come out openly to say you have it, therefore because of the job you got, there will be a conflict. Therefore you said you have divest, you have resigned. Very good. All of you who are sitting there, should there be any area in which a conflict of interest which will affect your duties, then you declare and then if need be, if we see there is a conflict of interest, then you either resign or you resign from that job. Accepting the appointments, new Minister of Fisheries and Marine Resources, Derek Klassen notes that they are ready for the task ahead and carrying out their respective orders. On behalf of myself and the Honourable Deputy Ministers, we want to thank you for choosing us out of a large group that you could have chosen from decided to choose us. All of us, we are very humbled and very thankful, and we thank you for choosing us. Personally, for me to be chosen as a, deputy, as a minister, it was very overwhelming, and uh, for me it was clear, the instruction, go and work hard. And that is exactly what me, myself, and the Honourable Deputy Minister is going to do. All of us, Your Excellency, we received our marching orders, we are ready, and we are going to execute and going to do the best of our ability for the different ministries that we are in. We accept the charge of Your Excellency, and from here on, we will not disappoint you, and we will work very hard. Thank you very much. The head of state further called on the various ministers and deputies to at all times uphold the country's national interests and maintain good character and integrity.